Now let us see the method to solve the magic square in Vedic mathematics. Suppose we have the grid 5 into 5 and we have to insert the numbers 1 to 25 in these squares in such a way that their vertical, horizontal and diagonal addition will be same. Now for solving this, we have to follow certain rules. Let us see the first rule. The first rule is about placing the digit 1. We have to place the digit 1 in the first column and the centermost row like this. Now you can see that this square is in the first column and in the centermost row. The second rule says that after all numbers we have to go southeast. That means here. But you can see that this rectangle or square is imaginary. So you cannot write your number there. Now what you will do? You have to go westward to the farthest square like this. That means suppose your number 1 is here. The 2 should come to the southeast means here. But this is imaginary square. So you have to go farthest square to the west means your number 2 will be here. The third rule says that if your southeast rectangle or square is filled then you have to write your number next square to the west. That means suppose your number 5 is here. So southeast means here but this square is already filled. So I will write number 6 in the next square to the west. That means here. Now rule number 4 is about the last square. That means this square. So whenever you come in this square, there are two imaginary squares to the southeast. So the rule says that again you have to write the next number to next square to the west. Now let us fill these rectangles. My number 1 is here. I am going southeast. But since this is imaginary, I will write my number 2 here. Again southeast, my number 3 is here. Now to the southeast, I have this imaginary square. So I will go to the farthest square. That means my number 4 will come in this square. Again I am going southeast. 5 will be here. Now since southeast is, southeast is filled, 6 will come here. 7, 8. Again I have to go farthest. 9 will come here. Again I have to go to farthest. 10 will come here. Southeast is filled. So I have to go westward. 11, 12, 13. 14, 15. Rule number 4 says that I have to go next square to the west. 16 will come here. Now again I have come to southeast, imaginary. So my 17 will come to the farthest like this. Again imaginary. So to the farthest is 18, 19, 20. Southeast is filled. So I'll write 21 here, 22. Again I got imaginary, so farthest rectangle is upwards. So I'll write 23 here, 24 is easy. Again my 25 is imaginary, I'll write my 25 number here. So without doing any addition or any calculations, I have completed my magic square.